Hey everybody, welcome to this month's Tips and Tricks video. My name is Dave Hedeman with Trimble, and uh, this month I'm showing you kind of a little known, little used feature, but I find it really helpful uh, from time to time. It's a function called attribute import, and it's a way to use a report to update a whole bunch of UDAs at once. Um, so there's a couple of different use cases for this. Again, if I want to update a bunch of UDAs all at once, if I want somebody who's not using Tecla, maybe using uh, an Excel file to update UDA values, and I want to bring that back into the model. I've used this for workflows from one extension to another when those extensions don't directly talk to each other. Um, I showed that uh, in a uh, Erector workflow uh, last year, I think it was, where I showed using the construction sequencer to the um, task manager. Okay, so this has some different features and functions, and when I when I find it handy, it's really handy. So I figured I'd share it with all of you. Um, so first thing I want to do is I want to create a report. Okay, so I'm going to go up here to my template editor and we're going to create a new textual report. Um, by the way, I did a video a few years ago uh, about different types of reports and creating comma separated value or CSV reports. Um, so I am going to leave a link to that in the description below. That's basically what we're doing here with a twist. So I'm going to add a new row and I'm going to make this a part type row. We're going to keep this simple. Uh, now, first thing I want to do is I want to add a unique identifier about the part that I'm trying to write a UDA to. In, in Tecla's help documentation, we call it a key field. Um, if you were to go to the Tecla user assistance and simply use for uh, do a search for attribute import, you could find this right here about importing user-defined attributes, where it talks about different types of key fields that you can use. You can see that a key field could be a GUID, an assembly position, a phase, so on and so forth. So this is here as a reference. You can always go search that out for yourself. But that's basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put a GUID in here as my key field. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a value field for GUID or the globally unique identifier. So let's go ahead and add a GUID in here. I'm going to make this GUID the ascending value of this report. Let's go ahead and make this report wider and an output length of much longer. And uh, I'm just going to add a couple more fields here just for fun. Let's go ahead and put in profile in this, uh, in this field. So I'm adding the profile. Where are you at? There you are. And I'll add length. Now I want to make this a comma separated value field or a comma separated value report. So I'm also going to add some text fields in here, simply adding a comma between these values. And as far as you know where it is or how many spaces there are, that doesn't really matter. It's not critical for this type of report. So let's go ahead and, and shrink that up. And then let's test it. Let's see if I'm on the right track with this report working the way I expect it to. So I'm going to go in here to save this into my model folder. So this is my uh, medical office building. There's actually the set erection order report that I was talking about from that uh, erection uh, webinar that I did. Um, but let's go in here and we'll call this a sample UDA updater. And just like that report, I'm going to call this a .csv .rpt. And if you watch that other video, you'll know that the .rpt is what Tecla needs to see this as a report file. The .csv is what file will be created when I run the report. Okay, so that's why I'm giving it the different uh, file extension there. So I'll say OK, and let's just run this on a, a small collection of beams. Again, I'm just trying to show you a, a general concept here. So I'll go to my reports. There's my sample UDA updater, and I will uh, create from selected. So you can see how it's coming out with the GUID. It's giving me the profile, and it's giving me the length. And I'm just separating my values by commas. So how do I turn this? into a UDA updating report, okay? So what we want to do is we want to go back to the template and we want to add a header. So I'm going to add a header here and in this header I need to tell the template or sort of inform Tecla what is the field mean that we're pointing to. So I'm going to add some text here and we're going to call this out as a GUID field, okay? So that's a GUID field there. Above here, we've got a profile field. So I'll go ahead and put that there. Uh, we have a length field. And then I want to add what UDAs do I want to update? 
Okay, so let's go back to the model here and look. If I look at one of these standard beams and we open up the, uh, the user defined attributes, you know, we've got drop downs, we've got dates, uh, we've got text fields, and all of those can be updated in this method. But I'm just going to give you a simple example here and let you guys kind of play with this uh, on your own. Let's say I want to use user field one and two, and that's the values that I want to be able to update with my report. It helps to know what the actual UDA code looks like here. And a, a tool that I find very, very helpful, rather than digging into the object's IMP file to try to find out the actual code of, of this or the actual you know, nomenclature of this field, is I'll put something in here like test1 and test2, and I'll modify that, and I will use the UDA list extension on the warehouse that will tell me what that UDA is. So you can see here user underscore field underscore one and user underscore field underscore two. So that's the actual UDA code that I need to know to write UDAs to that field. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'll, I'll take those UDA, UDAs out. I'm saying UDA a lot. Let's drop these out. Okay, and back in my template, let's add user underscore field underscore one and I could make this one continuous string but I'm just making it uh, separate for ease of uh, readability so user field two and you could put comment and RFI and status and you know whatever else you want to put in there but these are just the two that I'm going to use and then once again I need to add commas between them so let's go ahead I'll just copy the pre-existing comma let's copy this comma from down here make sure I select it first We'll put that between GUID and profile. We'll put another one, let's see if I can copy paste, between there, there, and there. Okay, so that should be what I need. So let's go ahead and save this. And uh, let's go ahead and grab some beams again, run my report, except this time I'm going to use the with associated viewer. Now I already have my windows to set, uh, set up so that a CSV file will open in Excel, okay? So I'll go ahead and say create from selected. And we can see here if I open up these columns, so I've got profile, length, user field one, user field two. I should probably take out those, those dead rows, but you know, we'll, we'll address that in a second. These stars right here, by the way, if you ever see that in a report, it just means you don't have enough characters defined in the actual template. Um, so let's go address that here real quick. Let's go to the length field and say, uh, let's add maybe three more characters to that. That should be better. And we may have to scoot it over a little bit to make room. So we'll say, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll scoot that over. Okay. So now that I've got this report, and let me take out the empty row and I'm also going to remove my margins that'll totally get rid of any dead rows in the uh, in the actual Excel file and we'll close this and we'll rerun it just for fun and there we go so now I've got this updated CSV file and you can see that we've got our GUIDs profile links and then I've got my user field one and my user field two so to use this as an attribute importer, to use this as a UDA updater, now I can go in and start to fill out these UDAs. So let's say that user field one, I wanted to put my initials. So uh, put my initials in here, and um, I'm going to go ahead and copy that through some of these. And then we'll put uh, you know some other initials in here. We'll say um, uh, DR, whoop, so DR and we'll, we'll copy those down to the rest, and then maybe uh, Lee, we'll put Lee's uh, initials here. Okay, and then in user field two, we'll put uh, some other type of note. Looks like I missed that last one. So I'll say uh, approved, right? Again, just, just coming up with something that I want to put in here. It could be anything. So I'll put approved, and... Um, test one. <laughs> I don't really have uh, much an idea to what to put here right now. Just trying to come up with an example. Oh, looks like Excel is numbering those for me. That's okay. And um, we'll just say uh, Tecla. I'll just put those values. I'm just trying to have some kind of value in here to show as an example. So now I can save this 
And yes, I want to save it as a CSV file. Now what I can do with this report is I can go to the file menu and choose import, import attributes. So when I do this, I can browse to that particular file. It'll be in my reports dialog here. There's the, the updated CSV file I just created. I'm using a comma delimiter. I want to do it for the entire model. And you have the option here whether or not you want to create a log file. I'm just going to say no, we don't need to see a log file here. But let's go ahead and hit uh, create. So now if I go and look at these pieces that I had selected, let's go ahead and open up the user defined attributes. You can see that user field one and user field two have been set with those values. Oh, wrong, wrong information there. Let's bring up this user defined attribute. So there's my initials and approved. Let's go to the next one. I'll just use the get button. Lee and Tecla, <laughs> go to a different one. Use get, dr test two. So I've updated this entire group of beams and their UDAs by using this report that I was able to edit in Excel. So like I said, I've seen this used for exactly what you just saw. Somebody who didn't have Tecla using an Excel file to add a bunch of information they wanted to tag to the beams. I've personally used it to get user-defined attributes from one application mapped over to a user field of a different application or extension. Um, it, it, it has a lot of uses that when I do need it, <laughs> it really comes in handy. So anyway, it's kind of a you know an oddball one. There are extensions that do this same sort of behavior, and a lot of the extensions nowadays are going to update UDAs that they want to, and that's fine. But it, like I said, I've found that tool helpful many times over the years. The ability to create my own report, to tag my own UDAs, and maybe some of you out there will find that report helpful as well. So anyway, um, this is the first new tips and tricks of 2023. I hope you find this helpful. Uh, if you have any requests for other tips or any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.